Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing polishes that I wore in the month of April. So in the description box, per the usual, I will link any polishes that are actively available. If the polish is no longer available, I will just link the maker's sites. I only wore five manicures this month, and I'm not beating myself up. That is pretty average. For some reason, I feel like if I don't hit six, I didn't do enough. Like I didn't wear enough nail polishes, but five is pretty average for me. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first manicure I wore is from Limby Designs. This is One of Woohoo. It's from the April 2024 polish pickup, so last month's polish pickup, but as soon as I swatched it, I wanted to wear it. It is so stunning. It's this um, kind of deeper, almost vampy purple base, but then it has this really bright aurora shimmer to it, and this aurora shimmer goes from this like red to pink to golden color. Absolutely stunning. One of my top picks from um, polish pickup in April. And I'm not a purple polish lover, um, but this was so flattering and um, I actually wore this one. My brother-in-law's birthday was at the beginning of the month, so we all gathered at my mom's house for the celebration and I wore this one for that occasion. I did really, really love it. I got full coverage in two coats. The shimmer is just chef's kiss beautiful. Um, it dried nice and glossy all on its own. I did use a top coat to help it dry faster and help it stay a little bit longer, no chipping issues for the weekend. Yeah, a really, really big fan of this one. So in my swatch photo, you are gonna see two coats of One of Woohoo from Lynn B Designs and a glossy top coat. The next manicure I wore is It Calls Me from my brand Pampered Polishes. This is a bright orangey coral and then it has holographic micro flakes in here. I, I always feel funny um, like wearing multiple polishes every month and like kind of promoting my brand, I guess. Um, I don't know why, I think it's like like a look what I did kind of thing. I really don't know why it is, but I always have felt funny about it. And then I got a comment on my video last month that said if you didn't wear your own polishes and you weren't proud of your own polishes, I would be concerned for your brand because you have to love what you make. And that is so true. So I am no longer going to feel like that. Um, but anyway, it calls me, this came out so long ago, but it is still absolutely stunning. It's so bright. I was finally, here in Florida, it has been cold. Um, so we have like pool days, but like we can't just sit at the pool all week like I really like to do. Uh, but this was, I put this on a day that was just so beautiful, so warm. We did get to bring the kids out to the pool. Um, so it really got me in the mood for summer. I did do two coats for full coverage. The formula on this was still really, really good. I did seal it off with a glossy top coat with these kind of neon pigments. Things tend to dry down on the like waxy or dull side. So that top coat really helps bring the manicure full circle. I do always recommend using a top coat regardless. Um, and then a base coat, of course. I didn't have any staining with this. I don't know if my nails just are immune to staining at this point, but I didn't have any noticeable staining, and I did use a base coat. But if this color doesn't scream summer, I don't know what does. In my swatch photo, you are gonna see two coats of a Calls Me from Pampered Polishes and a glossy top coat. The next manicure I wore went completely, <laughs> completely the other way. Um, this is Holiday Fling from Ella and Mila. This is a very, 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 very dark purpley red cream. I do still have on my desk sitting here from like two months ago, a few Ella and Mila polishes that I want to get to wearing um, from whenever they sent their, their uh, 10th birthday collection. They also sent a handful of polishes that I was interested from the site. So they are beautiful and I very much want to wear them. I just haven't made it to them, but this one I did make it to. Um, I will say this is so dark that it's one of those, those like uh, almost black shades. So in most lighting it did read black. I don't mind that. I actually usually really, really like that in the fall time. Um, but I don't, the other ones that I have are like definitely summery colors. I don't know why this is the one that I picked up. I guess I was just in a mood. Um, but I did really, really like it. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one in the fall though. I did need three coats for this for full coverage. It was almost there at two. I would say if I had known I was going to need three, I would have been more careful to do two coats, um, like two maybe thicker coats or been more cautious of my application. But I did end up going in for three. 
I sewed it all off with a glossy top coat, did use my base coat, and in my swatch photo you are going to see two coats of Holiday Fling from Ellen Mila and a glossy top coat. The next manicure I wore is Pink Perfection, again from my brand Pampered Polishes. This is like probably one of my all-time favorite polishes that I've ever made. This is a clear base, but its base color is made up of an Aurora Shimmer, and this Aurora Shimmer goes from a like pink to a green to a gold to a blue, and then it's got these matte baby pink glitters in a couple different sizes. I personally really like this one at just two coats where I can still see nail line um, and I don't have full coverage, but the glitter that's in here spreads out so evenly, so beautifully. You could use this one as a topper and it is gorgeous as a topper, but I really, really like how it looks on its own. Like I said, these glitters performed just magnificently. Um, it is glitter, so it is going to require a, a thicker glossy top coat to smooth everything out. I instead did my regular KB Shimmer top coat, but then under it I used the KB Shimmer Smooth Moves topper to make sure everything was going to be nice and even. Uh, my son had a field trip to Universal Studios for his little fifth grade graduation kind of kind of celebration. Um, and I chaperoned that, so I really wanted to make sure my manicure was intact and like I didn't break a nail while I was out there. Um, so that's why I made sure to use the Smooth Moves as well, just that extra layer of protection. That being said, it is glitter, so it is going to be more difficult to remove. What I generally like to do is take a little cotton ball, a little piece of a cotton ball. Somebody told me not to use a whole cotton ball, and that was a huge game changer. But I just like unroll the cotton ball. Um, I will unroll the cotton ball kind of kind of like to where it's a line like this and then rip off a piece maybe this big so I can get like a whole hand out of one cotton ball and then I will soak it in some acetone put it on there and put a little clip around it and it 10 times out of 10 just my glitter glides right off there might be a piece or two left that I have to like scrub off um, but it's made all the difference in the world with my glitter removal in my swatch photo, you are going to see two coats of Pink Perfection from Pampered Polishes and a glossy top coat. And the last manicure I wore is Pearl Jammin' from China Glaze. This is a very soft, powdery blue base, and then it does have this brighter kind of, it's kind of an Aurora Shimmer, but it really goes from like a copper to a gold, so really it just breathes that like metallic-y kind of shimmer. I'm not to say that this polish is metallic whatsoever, but it does, that shimmer does read the metallic tones. I have loved this nail polish for a very, very long time, and I only thought about it because um, Limby Designs had come out with a polish that resembled this one heavily. Oh, they haven't come out with it yet. It's not until June. Um, but I swatched it, and it made me think of this nail polish, so I pulled it out, and I have always had this love for this nail polish, and this time when I wore it, I was very disappointed. I I put it on, um, and I did need three coats of it. I had a couple brush strokes, which brush strokes usually don't bother me. The shimmer that's in here is 10 out of 10, um, but the brush strokes usually don't bother me. But what did bother me is that it took forever to dry, um, and I wait between coats. I do it until I can kind of touch it, and it's still tacky. Um, and then I will always seal it off with a fast drying glossy top coat because I do have three kids and I do have 150 things to do at any given point during the day. So I always use a fast drying top coat and I never have an issue with my manicure drying within like an hour. Five hours after I had painted my nails, I went to go take a shower and they dented. <laughs> I, just, I don't understand what happened. I didn't love it for that reason. Um, so I did take my photos freshly after painting my nails, but they were all dented by the end of the day. That being said, it is a very pretty polish. Um, I just don't, now that I have the Limby Designs one and I know um, since I swatched it that it dries appropriately, that my top coat doesn't mesh or clash with it, um, I will obviously go towards that one whenever I'm in the mood for this kind of powdery blue with the brighter brighter metallic colored uh, shimmer. So this was pretty, I don't love it anymore. In my swatch photo, you are gonna see three coats of Pearl Jamin from China Glaze in a glossy top coat. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of my manicures for April. Let me know if you wore anything special in the month, if you had any occasions, if 
anything was going on. I really, really love these are my favorite videos to read comments on because I love hearing what you guys do every month. Like if you have any special things that are happening throughout the month, I love hearing about it. And then I love hearing if you've paired a manicure with what you're doing or what you're just interested in wearing. If you're a seasonal wearer, I am obviously not. I've got such an array of, of colors every single month. So I'm definitely not a seasonal wearer, but I do love putting two and two together that you guys are. So very interesting to me, but also let me know what your favorite was from my manis from my manicures this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.